I fail at remembering things. I also have the theme, the soundtrack to Trigun. Um, I also have the soundtracks to Inuyasha, both the full songs and the scores, as well as I also have, which I'm selling most of them. Oh, I do have these, which were made by somebody at Anime Detour, Gurren Lagann and Fullmetal Alchemist. And then I also have Yu-Gi-Oh cards, both in Japanese and in English. I also have Pokemon cards somewhere, but I forgot to show them to you guys until people started posting them in their vlogs last time. Go me, right? Okay, on with this vlog. This week we're talking about our first conventions. Uh, my first convention was Anime Detour 2007. Um, it was actually kind of what jump-started me back into liking anime. There was a time period where I stopped liking anime for a while, and not just because I stopped liking it, but just I just never watched it, and I really didn't care anymore. I don't know. Um, anyway, so I transferred to St. Cloud State University, and my roommate and I were walking around the, um, this fair thing of all of the different clubs on campus, and I stopped by Otaku Society at St. Cloud State University, and they talked about going to this place called Anime Detour, and I found out that my friend Nikki from high school was going to be there, and I was like, okay, cool, so I signed up and I went. So that's kind of how I, I got involved with going to Anime Detour. And uh, a fun story from Anime Detour. God, I don't even know. Let me think about that for a second. There's just so many amazing things that happened at Detour that year. That happened at Detour every year. Detour is seriously one of the greatest conventions ever. Just because we're all just one big happy family there. Um, I suppose some of the fun stuff would be just the interactions I had with the guests. Um, Kyle just kind of randomly walked up to me and my friends and just hung out. Um, I went shopping in the dealer room with Carrie Savage, and then I had a three-hour-long conversation with Chris Ayers after closing ceremonies about life and religion and all kinds of things like that. He's a really cool guy to talk to. Um, but uh, I guess the hanging out with Kyle really stuck out just because now he and I are pretty good friends and we talk outside of the convention and stuff. So it's kind of fun. Um, but I guess those would probably be my greatest stories ever from Detour 2007. Um, you know, I don't even really know why they stick out so much other than just the fact that Kyle and I had developed a pretty cool friendship afterwards, but, um, you know, like Carrie Savage, I just ran into her and I had no idea who she even was. So she's like, want to help me find this poster? I'm like, she sounds really familiar. I was like, I must have met her before or something. And so we're like walking around the convention trying to find stuff. And then my friend was like, were you just hanging out with Carrie Savage? And I go, apparently I was. And then Chris, Ayers, Matt, and I, my friend Matt, and I hung out for three hours after closing ceremonies. And, and we talked about, uh, we talked about Peacemaker and Gantz, and that all turned into his philosophy about life. And that was just amazing. And, um... So yeah, you know, I think that was really fun. It was good times. Yeah, Anime Detour 2007 sticks in my heart forever as the greatest weekend of my entire life. And now I'm in a complete con addict snow, so now I've been to, like, a ton of cons. And I'm going to Detour in a couple months. 
All right, so uh, Sarah, I will see you tomorrow about your first con adventure, which I already know everything about because I was with you. <laughs> All right, see you tomorrow, Sarah. Bye.